Hi guys. So, I started pounding this out. This is the piece that is going to go on the side of the cab where the back of the front fender mounts to. Uh, let's see, you gotta work it out right here. Basically, this, this will replace that piece, the front fender will mount here against that. I've been just pounding it freehand and it's like working clay almost. Really, really stiff clay, but you know, it kind of does. Um, I got to pound it out a little bit more and try to get the shape better. I'm having a rough time up at the top where it meets, trying to get that profile right. It's kind of a, that profile. But for the most part, I think I got it pretty close. Um, I'll go through how I, how I marked it up when I do the other side. And that's the shape I'm looking for. And I basically drew out what I'm kind of, kind of a wide rough idea of what it should, uh, what this piece should look like. And I'm getting pretty close. I mean, just pounding on it. I'm not gonna wind up cutting all the way to that outside line. Down here I probably will, but I'll probably follow it up and kind of make a line. It's gonna be like a triangular shape kind of piece here. That's gonna need a bend to get that in there. And then it's gotta come down and, and it kind of teardrops down to the bottom. So what I'm envisioning at this juncture, a lot of fancy words there, juncture. Anyway, what I'm envisioning is this making this piece match. Then what I'll do is I'll, I'll trim this piece, I'll, this profile here, I'll trim onto here, and then the piece I make for here will have to match this, and then I'll weld it. And so it'll wind up having to be out of two, maybe three pieces welded together. I'm going to place this piece kind of where I want it to live. And it's going to be here. I'm going to go over about an inch on this bottom here because I'm going to wind up wanting a fold on the bottom to uh, hook into the rocker panel. So if I can hold that there and then trace this out just like that. Kind of gives me an idea where this is going to want to be. Alright. So that's kind of my basic profile. Then I got to go about two and a quarter inches up over and around and see if I can't pound that one out like I did the other one. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm just going to use my big old vise right over here to, to get my first initial uh, bends. I scribed out and traced out what it's supposed to look like, I hope. And uh, I'm just going to drop in here and do some, some rough bending. So I know it's got to be bent here. And drop it in here again. Bend that. Maybe loosen that up a little bit. Bend in there, bend right there, there, kind of get my, get me started, you know, try to get it, get a rough idea, bend it in the right direction before I just start whacking it with a hammer. So that's kind of a rough, rough idea what I need. I probably need this bend a little bit more up here. But of course you're bending this stuff and now it's, you know, it's making up the metal move in all different directions that it really doesn't want to move. <laughs> so I got a couple different shapes here I'm going to work on trying to get this rounded up. I think I'll start off with this, uh, this, old, this old rim off of, I don't know, one of my friend's cars, he dropped this rim off and now I got it sitting there. But it may come in handy for trying to round this off a little bit. Boy, just use anything you can get if you can get the right shape going.
takes a little bit of playing around. Hmm. Then I've got this. I probably got to get this in deeper too. I might have to. I might have to move my pipe because I'm thinking. Well, I could probably use it a little bit too. close I'm getting. I'm getting closer. This is all just a straight bend and go in the brake and I just bend it. So easy. I'm trying to make this around this corner. That's a little tricky. figure out my back bend. It's got to come from here. It's got, it gets bent back the other way. And then I'm going to see if I can uh, get that figured out. Okay, I kind of drew a line here. It flares out at the top and gets wider because of the deeper profile. So I'm going to see if I could follow that. Right there is where it wants to be. Point and then I'm going to have to try to widen it there. You know what? I went a little too short on that. I'm going to have to widen that out. Right there. See, it's got to be wider here. I got I to gotta make this bend, move it up here to make that deeper. So, how am I going to do that? Uh. <laughs> well, just see if I can steep it up a little bit here. And then once I, once I make a, uh, once I get my shape kind of close to what I want, I'm going to trim this back. That's a little better. It's still a little wonky though, I don't know. I, it's confusing to me, I'm not sure. It's hard to see, I'm not a sculptor. It's hard to see what the shape, shape is going to be. Hard to plan it out, but that look, that's looking a little bit closer. Hmm. I'm gonna just keep working it. So, I've got this pretty beat up. I've got it close to shaped out. And I got this one shaped out. This one came out nicer. I have less uh, hammer marks in it. So I'm going to work on this a little bit with a hammer and dolly and see if I can get it a little nicer looking.
Now just using the brake for a clamp. Eh, it's coming out a little bit better. Sure would be nice to just buy some pressed steel parts already, but I've looked around, I haven't found anything, so. I'm gonna find a different vice to hold this in because it's I'm getting I'm running out of room. Well, maybe I could do it this way. Yeah, that might work better. Looks pretty good. Really not a spot I can putty, but you know what else? This part here gets buried by the fender. Be nice to get this right though because that doesn't get buried by the fender. It might wind up getting a little bit of body filler. I'll have to see. I'm going to get it as good as I can though before we resort to the dreaded polyester. One of my old body hammers I ordered up from Napa some years back. It's still holding up. I don't even know the name on it. Oh, it's an Astro. It wasn't very expensive, but what I noticed about it is, and I'm sure it's been abused, but that face is all beat up. Looks, it's all pockmarked. This face is all beat up. So, these uh, Maddox seem to be a little harder. They're holding up a little bit better. Of course, I've had these for, gosh, I don't even know how many years. So I think I got these close enough. Uh, they're gonna need some more tuning, but I also have to trim them because this whole part here is gonna get cut to follow the contour. And then there's that pie shape kind of piece that's gonna wind up getting welded into that. Okay, so I cut out a couple pie pieces. I, I just cut one chunk out of um, uh, a piece of uh, the 18 gauge I have. And I just cut it 10 by 18 and then I cut it cross-sectioned eight inches on one side because that's kind of what I figured I needed was it's got to be 18 inches long but I don't need the whole width of 10 inches I just need like eight by 18 but it's both of them are pie shaped so I, I get two of them what did I do with the other one? Ha! I put it down and lost it already anyway so I've, I've got that and what I got to do is figure out how to get the profile now I'm no, uh, no uh, geometrical genius or savant but as I come up around this, I got to follow this contour. It comes out and around. That means if this, if I'm going to weld this piece to that, this has got to be cut in a curve so that I can make that and come out with that angle. So that's what I'm going to try now, tracing that out and try to figure out how to, how to get that right. Well, it looks like I got something here, sort of a pie shape. So. I got a little curve to it. I'm going to leave it flat for now. I don't want to form it completely because I'm going to use this as a pattern for the other side and it's got to be the reverse. Basically what I have here is this guy's going to go in like this. That'll probably get trimmed. I got a line already where I scribed it because I want it to match that. This whole piece is going to wind up getting cut out. So that means I got this piece here kind of locks in there and it goes up through here. Eventually what I'll do is I'll cut a piece and weld it in. So then the other piece is going to get welded all the way down this edge to there to make up to make up for that. And I think I've got it shaped pretty good. So it's about 4.30 and I'm ready to call it a day. Um, I think I got a little bit done today. But I'll tell you what, this stuff does take time. So what's basically going to happen is this will wind up right on that line kind of. There's a line there. You can barely see it because it's just a piece of soapstone. But that's going to basically go like that and get welded in there like that. And then make it so it, I'll have to make it so it fits in there. So it's at an angle. Everything's a little crooked. And then once I'm done, I'll, I'll wind up cutting this piece off. 
All right, well, more tomorrow.